Okay, so I know you've seen this knife before. This is the Cold Steel Large Espada uh, in the dressed up G10 and aluminum bolster version. I will try not to do too much of this polishing action. Uh, you've seen this before, but this is mine and it's brand new and I wanted to show it off. This is, this is really my one and only, well, at least to date, uh, Cold Steel Panic purchase since they got sold. I've always meant to get this dressed up version of the large and because uh, I have a dressed up version of the XL and then I have the G10 versions of, uh, of both. But I, I, this to me is the perfect size and in this dress, it's just beautiful. So I bought this uh, from Blade HQ uh, straight up. I had some mad money and just decided to spend it on this. I know, money well spent, uh, but hey, what can I say? Uh, knife junkie is what I call myself, and I think that's to exonerate myself from such ridiculousity as this, and I say, well, I'm, I, I have a problem, so it's okay. Uh, so this is what it looks like next to the, the original um, G10 version. So when they first came out with this, and I said, oh my god, it's a folding Navaja in modern materials made by Cold Steel. I love it. I hope they make an affordable version in G10. A few years later, they heard my call and they made this just for me. And uh, of course, I bought it on the first iteration. And since, they've made some changes uh, to the overall design. And you can probably see them right here. But uh, chief among them, and the one that caught my eye the most, is the blade shape. If you look carefully, uh, this blade shape is different from this blade shape. This has, here, let's set it up so that the spines are parallel to one of these lines here. And now just look, you get a shorter clip on this one with a more pronounced swedge on the new one and a longer flat spine leading up to it. Here you have, as you can see, a real long swedge and clip and it just has a different look this looks to me more like a fillet knife more like a uh buh, 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 what's the word um uh, i don't know like a talwar or something that that is uh has a trailing point this to me obviously does have a trailing point bowie blade but it seems more centered and i think that's because the point seems more centered with the handle is what i mean and i think that's because the uh, spine is ex the straight part of the spine is extended further, making it a shorter clip. I don't know. Whatever. I love the way they both look, but I'm I'm particularly fond of the new of the new version. It looks more like uh, a traditional Navaja to me, and it also looks more like a Bowie to me. And I you know love the Bowie. So a couple of other differences. Um, between the old ones and the new ones. This, I'm not sure what year this came out at this point, um, but hollow ground, flat ground. Now, I don't really care. I'm not gonna be using this uh, for anything at all. I'll be honest, I'm not gonna be using it for anything at all. Just like I've used this for nothing at all. I mean, I carry it every once in a while, but I will not be hampered by the fact, or I will not notice an improvement in the robustness uh, in this flat ground blade. Just aesthetically, I do wish it were hollow ground. Something about a hollow ground blade just gets me excited in a different kind of way. And I think it's, uh, it's an old, old thing in me. I think the first time I noticed a hollow grind was the first time I saw a, uh, a cold steel tanto when I was a kid and I was like wow it looks like a razor blade man and I think it was that hollow grind that really did it in the new one in this new one you you get a much more a much well you, you've got a more modern cold steel feel just a much greater ease of action um, I still can't flick it open with my thumb but a, a lot of cold steels these days you can just flip it open like it's a like it's a liner lock, even though it's got this wicked triad. Now, the larger ones I can't do that with, but I feel like this one is on its way. I mean, it's brand new, and it's super, super duper smooth. Another thing I love about these large cold steel knives in general is that they are fidgety. Um, they always leave you enough of this Ricasso area to 
close it and you know if you if you just keep your finger where it belongs up here in the in the choil and you depress it and you close it that blade is going to stop and not cut your hand and i i do believe they do that on purpose so that these are truly one-handed knives you don't have to do the thing where you close it on your leg or close it on a table as a matter of fact doing it that way now it feels less safe to me this way i know that when it drops boom it just drops right there and almost every cold steel knife is like that. Let me see. Uh, oh, what do you know? I just happen to have a couple near me. This one, same thing, immortal. Look, almost no ricasso, but still, you put your finger up there, boom. Uh, One-handed. Same with, uh, well, same with pretty much all of their folders, as, uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, okay, so that's enough comparing it to the old Espada. You can see the different blade shape, and to me, that does make a huge difference. Also, this this giant expanse here without any sharpening doesn't really need to be there. If you need it as a choil for your finger, you can still choke up with, with half of that dead space there. So I presume this has something to do with the stop pin or something um, in the internal guts of the design. Um, all right, so this is not a full review. Well, take it from me. I'm sure it's awesome. But I do know it looks sweet, and I do know cold steel makes a tough, tough knife. So here it is next to the XL version. So as you can see, this is a one, two, three, four, five and a half inch blade. This is a, a seven and a half inch blade, which, you know, just if... If you can't answer all the questions with five and a half inches, I'm guessing with seven and a half inches, you're covered. This is an old one, Aus 8. My brother got this for me at a gun show years ago and gave it to me for Christmas. He gives the best gifts. What can I say? This is very thinly hollow ground. I mean, this thing is just wicked, wicked chap. So that's what it looks like next to the, to the XL. Get this behemoth out of here and bring in a couple of others. Okay, uh, one more large cold steel. And uh, this also is a clip point. I love this knife. I'm glad I never got rid of my large recon ones. I have this in XHP and I also have the, the uh, Tanto in XHP large. And now you can't find them. Maybe once GSM starts uh, taking over their production, they'll have the capacity to keep these in stock. The question is, will they be making five and a half inch folders? That is the question. So there it is next to one of my favorite five and a half inch Bowie folders. See, here it is with, uh, we'll, we'll, now we'll come out of the realm of the super gigantic and just into the super. <laughs> this is a super CQC15 by uh, Emerson Knives, full four inch blade there. Let's see. Oh, this is an interesting one. Here it is with the uh, with the Boker Plus um, Giant Kalashnikov. Uh, I think this is their XXL with the five inch blade. Is that five inches? One, two, three. yeah. Wait. Oh man. One, two, three, four, four and three quarters about inches. Sorry, you had to witness that terrible math right here on camera. Terrible counting. Okay, here it is with an XM24 Warncliffe. So big ass knife. And then lastly, here it is with, with another big knife uh, that you might be familiar with. One of my favorites, don't carry it enough anymore, but this is the Zero Tolerance Zero four, four, five, two cf Sorry, the numbers, man, after a while, they just... They just lose me. Kind of classy in a different way, but uh, you know this is this is for stashing under your cummerbund when you're in a, a a European street fight in say the 16th century, I guess in Spain. And this is for uh, well for your modern for your modern uh, kind of setup. Once again, I've spoken too long just in the service of showing you this super sweet knife. So if you got the time, if you got the extra scratch, and if you are so inclined and interested, you might want to uh, just take a look around and see what uh, what people still have of the, of the cold steel knives that you've always wanted but never kind of uh, dug deep to get. 
And that's what I did here. And I think I'm pretty well covered at this point. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe if they do stop uh, producing some of these big knives for a little while, it's a, it's an opportunity to catch up on some of the knives I, I lost out on. Speaking of which, I would love to have a black rhino. If anyone, you know, in this setup, this is how it comes. If anyone has a black rhino out there that they're tired of and they just are looking to unload, boom, you know who to call. In any case, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been the Large Espada by Cold Steel. Take care.